Now this is an amazing video and you probably want to share this video out. We need to get people to see this video, but really quickly I want to give a shout out to Fine Tuned Orange on Twitter because he's actually the one who uh, added me at this and got my attention on this. This is a video of CNN in 2013 covering a story about how Barack Obama and Joe Biden wanted to cut Social Security and guess who was defending it. Check it out. Now is your chance to talk back on one of the big stories of the day. The question for you this morning, should Social Security be cut? What's a campaign promise worth anyway? Hmm, maybe around $230 billion over 10 years? In 2008, candidate Obama vowed he would not cut Social Security. Now's the time to protect Social Security for future generations. Oh, but fast forward to 2013, bloodied over failed budget negotiations with Republicans, the president bit the bullet, proposing cost of living adjustments to Social Security and other federal benefits worth $230 billion. If you want to know exactly what that means, let's say you got $12,972 in Social Security last year. That is the average benefit. If the new system were already in place, you would get only $12,136 this year. That's $633 less. Even some lawmakers who support the president, they're furious. In 2008, he said that he would not cut Social Security. We want the president to remember what he said and not go back on his word. Contrary to popular perception, Social Security does not add to the deficit. If you need bipartisan proof, I'll take you back to 1984. Social Security has nothing to do with the deficit. Social Security is totally funded by the payroll tax levied on employer and employee. We're told Social Security is solvent for another 24 years. That's not to say we shouldn't worry about Social Security, because we should. But there are other ways to fix it, like raising the payroll tax or the retirement age. Talk back question for you today. Should Social Security be cut? Facebook.com slash CarolCNN, Facebook.com slash CarolCNN, or tweet me at CarolCNN. Wow, so that was amazing. So that's Bernie Sanders right there back in 2013. And this was supposed to be the big disagreement between Barack Obama and Bernie Sanders, which was the whole Social Security issue. And so he was proposing like a 600-year cut, which is massive for people who are on Social Security. Um, and Bernie Sanders said no. He went hardcore on Obama telling him, no, don't cut it, don't do this. But this is the thing. Another instance in which Joe Biden was ready to cut Social Security he was fine with the Social Security cut. Obviously, his president was doing this. And so Bernie Sanders, who was on the front line of defending Social Security, Bernie Sanders in 2013, all right? Well, nobody was watching, all right? Nobody even knew who Bernie Sanders was at this point. Very few people, only political junkies knew who he was. He was fighting for you before you knew he was fighting for you, before you even knew who he was. For decades upon decades, the guy has been advocating for you. But... Whether it's voting against the Iraq War, against NAFTA, against bloated military budgets, against cuts to Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid and all this stuff. He's the guy who's been there. And so, you know, uh, if you're an older person who's voting for Joe Biden, which I know a lot of older folks are, you know, I just want you to know that there's one candidate who wants to, A, expand and make sure that your Social Security is not touched. That's Bernie Sanders and also wants to improve your Medicare. Now, your Medicare currently doesn't cover hearing aids, vision, eyeglasses, uh, or dental care, all right, or long-term home care. All of those things will be covered under Bernie Sanders' Medicare for All plan. He's giving everyone Medicare, but he's taking your Medicare, and he's literally improving it. He's making it significantly better by including uh, vision, eyeglasses, hearing aids, He's including dental, crucial, all crucial things. And then also when you get sick, when you're at the end of your life, uh, you're on the last edge, you know, you, you can't really take care of yourself. Well, you have long-term care. Uh, your insurance will cover for a uh, long-term person to take care of you. So that is something that will benefit you guys very much. Same thing goes for Social Security. Obviously, he's going to expand it. And so, 
you don't want the guy, Joe Biden, who, as you just saw in this video right here from CNN, he was the vice president under Barack Obama who was trying to cut your Social Security. And so do you want to vote for the candidate who actively tried to cut your Social Security, is on video multiple times throughout all of history saying that he wants to cut Medicare, Social Security, and Medicaid. All right, he's trying to do balanced budget amendments. Or, and by the way, he's not promising to give you uh, hearing uh, your Medicare covering hearing aids, dental, or vision, but he is not doing that. But the person doing that is Bernie Sanders. And so hopefully the choice is clear. All right, Bernie Sanders upgrading your Medicare for all, upgrading your Social Security. Joe Biden cutting your Social Security, not wanting to upgrade your Social Security. You cannot trust Joe Biden with your Social Security because there are at least like four or five times, maybe even 10, in which he has literally advocated, he's literally on the House, the Senate floor, bragging about cuts, okay, to Social Security, trying to cut Medicare and Medicaid, all of those things. So who are you choosing? I would recommend you choose Bernie Sanders because he wants to improve your Medicare. He wants to improve your Social Security and not cut it. So, again, Bernie Sanders, this once again proves that if you're on the fence, Bernie Sanders will never cut your Social Security. He plans to expand it, and he also plans to uh, improve your Medicare and give it to everybody. So, the choice hopefully is clear. Make sure to share this with everybody you can to get all the attention to it. And also, to any of the older folk that you know who need to know about this, uh, and know his record, both of their records, make sure to share this to them. Grandma, grandpa, whoever you know, make sure they see this because this is crucial.